Holy frick, okay, I think this dragon is way too powerful. Hey, this is Chris. Hopefully everyone is having an awesome day. And welcome back to another mod showcase. Where today we're showcasing the Worm Roost mod for 1.16.5. And it's a mod that adds a bunch of really awesome teamable dragons. So the first dragon we have is the Overworld Drake. So these guys are hostile and they live in plains biomes and savannas. And yes, it may look harmless because it's eating grass. But it is actually evil because it freaking eats you into the air or sometimes it eats you like 20 blocks away but anyway we're just gonna go straight to him and we have a sad on this so we can tame it and by the way i do have diamond armor and some feather falling just so um i won't die from this guy so he's gonna roar which will make you pee your pants and now we're just gonna install this on him and he should have a saddle now we can just get on him and um yeah he will actually just eat you off so you have to try this over and over and over until he decides to actually love you so yeah it's a really painful process holy frick okay yeah we got him so now he's our friend and this is freaking epic you feel so powerful once you're on these guys but now i'm gonna show you something you can do with these guys so first you can control them with WAS and D, just like a horse but there's an extra thing you can do. So now, I'm gonna click V, and he should launch this cow. So, V, uh, okay, dude, come back here. Alright, so we're just gonna keep hitting this cow, and, uh, wait, aren't cows all female? Okay, I'm still gonna call them dudes. So, uh, dude, go, come back here. So I'm just gonna keep clicking V, and yeah, it is a pretty powerful tech. Now let's use it against some zombies. You know what, let's get, be brave and eat this creeper. <laughs> yeah, it is funny how you can eat things. So, yeah, it is really good defense just in case you ever encounter a creeper or any other thing so feel my wrath all right so he got hurt and as you can see he's now eating grass so this is the way to heal him and we're just gonna make it the times to show you another way to heal them so we're just gonna turn this to day we're gonna get off him and now we're gonna feed him some wheat now oh, he's completely okay glad you're okay my buddy Oh yeah, by the way, I kind of forgot to actually defend you even if you're not on them. Now, here are the drops. So these guys drop some Drake backplate, which is extremely rare. Some raw common meat, which is really common in them, obviously because of the name. And they also commonly drop leather. Next, we have the Roost Stalker. So these tiny guys are neutral, and these guys spawn in many different biomes, like plains, mountains, forests, and taigas. And they usually spawn in groups. And by the way, you should not attack any of them because they will attack you, just like zombified piglins. But we're gonna do it anyway, so dude... Um, I, I want you to get angry. So, everyone else is gonna start attacking us, and I'm not sure where everyone else is. Alright, so the entire gang is showing up to gang up on us and beat us up because we hit one of its members. So, now we're just gonna probably try to delete them. But now we're just gonna start again with a new one because I'm gonna show you what they actually do. So, first off, they'll actually just steal your treasure. So, yeah, we're gonna put some treasure over here. Give him an enchanted sword with a sharpness 600. Yeah, that's going to be pretty dangerous to give them. But we're just going to wait for one of them to show up. Um, Dudes, where are you? So this guy has spotted the treasure. And now he's going to steal that sword. And let's see what actually happens if he steals the sword. That's going to be terrifying. Holy frick, it actually worked. <laughs> what have I done? All right, now so we can get the sword back, we're going to tame this guy. So we're just gonna give him some eggs because that's his favorite food. Uh, dude, come back here. All right, now he's our pet. And you, he should be able to let it go if we just right click on it. And there we go. So now our sword is back in our hands and not in the hands of those maniacs. And there's also something else you should do. If you have chicken or rabbit farms, you better stay away from these guys because they will eat them. All right, so here are their vicious nature. They're going to start killing all the chickens and rabbits because apparently they just hate everything. Now, if it's a small prey, they're going to eat it. So please don't make a rabbit farm or a chicken farm near these guys. Now you'll wonder how you heal these guys. You just give them some meat and they should hold it in their, uh, in their mouths. All oh, right, there we go. He's holding some steak in his mouth and now he's going to start regenerating as long as he has the meat inside his mouth eventually he probably runs out but for now he's just gonna chew on it slowly and now this is absolutely cute but you can just put them on top of your head so we're just gonna grab it with an empty hand and he should be on our head yeah that's so adorable <laughs> yeah they're really adorable and these guys will also drop some raw low tier meat and some gold nuggets the next dragon we have is the canary wavern which is currently flying away 
but these adorable fellows are hostile and they'll only spawn in swamp biomes. So that we're just gonna have to chase him down because that is how you tame him. So, um, or unless I actually lost him. And by the way, for this, you'll also need some berries, but yeah this has gotten a little bit more complicated than i expected we found a new one but this one decided aggression instead of running away so uh yeah this is gonna be an issue because he repeatedly attacks you the poison is eventually gonna get to me but um not really all right dude can you just can you just uh, calm down calm down so yeah sometimes there's no choice but to kill them and the noises they make when they die <laughs> that's heartbreaking so now we're gonna try to offer them the berry so you're gonna get aggressive if you get too close, but we should probably back away if they get aggressive. So there we go. So you just need to shift, right click with some berries in your hand and slowly approach them. If they get aggressive, you have to get away or else there's no choice but to kill them because they're never gonna leave you alone. And now this guy's gonna sit on my command. And now, dude, can I, can I show you something? Can you kill this target right here? Pig, you're gonna die. The canary wyvern is gonna follow you and he's gonna track you down dang it he was just stuck but all right now he's gonna try to defeat this guy and now he's dead and also we're gonna spawn in a creeper because i'm gonna show you something special about these guys so mobs won't actually attack these guys back so we're just gonna spawn a creeper and the canary waver should handle him so yeah they don't actually care about these tiny dragons apparently they're so small that their eyes can't literally process them i mean their brains they literally have probably small brains and that's why they can't process it by the way you can also put them on your head if you just right click with an empty hand which is pretty adorable and you can have up to three of them actually you know what i'm gonna grab one more yeah th <laughs> this looks so funny i look like a plane but here is all three of them and they're all t posy <laughs> <laughs> all right i don't know why i'm laughing so much by the way if you were wondering how to get them off you just shift and all of them should just get off your head by the way these guys will occasionally drop some feathers which is a really good source of feathers but they only rarely do it and by the way these guys when killed will drop some feathers and some raw common meat and yes i did save you from actually killing these guys because they're adorable and they freaking sound so adorable just just hear that uh, if, you, if you don't hear that and think it's cute you're a monster these guys are adorable our next dragon is the alpine and did you see the freaking roar that is freaking epic i really love the roars and now let's get to it so the first thing you should know is these guys are neutral so these guys are not gonna attack you no matter what even if it looks like they are actually gonna attack you and these guys live in mountains now i'm gonna show you how to tame them it's a little bit complicated so first you'll need yourself a bee and some flowers <laughs> So we're gonna pollinate this uh, bee so we're just gonna place some flowers which we uh, we already had flowers over there but doesn't matter we're gonna have a bee and we're gonna be ready to lead him into the dragon so he can be in by the dragon i don't know why they love eating bees especially if they sting you but all right i guess they love eating that sacrifice 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 <laughs> oh no yeah that it's literally you're just sacrificing bees Dude, be my friend. I brought you bee. Eat the bee, except the sacrificial bee. So now it's gonna start eating the bee, and it should be our friend. So uh, yeah, now it's our friend. And I don't know why I just said yeah, but let's just get on him. Now we have the power of wind. And since this is our first flying dragon, I'm gonna show you how to fly it. So first you want to click spacebar, and now you want to click W to go forward and S to go backwards. And the way the steering works is you just point in whatever direction you want it to fly, and it should fly there so for example i want to fly upwards and it's gonna take me upwards if i'm looking upwards if i face down it's gonna go down and if i face any other direction it's just gonna fly there so it's just really easy steering and now if you want to know how to land these guys you just basically just face down and make them land like if it was nothing now a tip i have for you guys is to go into third person because in third person it's a little bit less obstructive because here is his face here is its body you can barely see anything but once you're in third person everything becomes clear including my cape so now this uses another keybind which is g so g should make it blow wind at anything in its path so you just have to aim it correctly and it'll sometimes eat things off mountains so <laughs> oh yes uh, you uh, did you see that that, that pig 
died the most tragic death. By the way, they're pretty useless when defending you because they won't actually defend you. They couldn't care less if the zombie just tries to bite your face off. They don't care, they're just gonna be there. You, you monster, why don't you help me? <laughs> and if somehow your dragon gets hurt, you can just feed it some honey bottles or some honeycombs and he should be all right. And the last thing you should know about these guys is they drop raw common meat and they also drop some feathers upon death. The next dragon we have is the dragon fruit drake. So these guys spend most of their time sleeping in jungles and yes, that is the biome they spawn in and they also are hostile. So now we're gonna actually go to team one and I've noticed that they're technically half fruit, so I don't know if you guys are dragons. Are you dragons? Or are you fruits? So let's first give it a baby because, yeah, uh, it, it, the adults don't like you. So if I go into survival right now, it's gonna freaking go after me and try to attack me in every way possible. Even if it means that it hurts itself. Actually, you know what? We're going back into creative, so I have a baby there. So it has a baby now. And now we can just take the baby and just make it fall in love with us. So yes, now we have tamed the baby. And we can just drag it out of its mother's sight. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes, we're uh, I don't know if I don't know if it's appropriate to kidnap its child, but alright. We're taking it over here where it's safer and she's not gonna attack me. So come on, dude. We're just gonna feed you a lot and you should eventually grow up. By the way, I kind of forgot. So you actually taint them with apples. They just really enjoy apples. And you can just keep feeding your baby stacks and stacks of apples if you have any. And they should grow up quicker than usual. So here we go. And we got the, uh, the purple variant. That is freaking awesome. Now let's just get on this guy and we can just walk with the, the dragon like every other dragon except these guys just like to eat grass so if you click v they should eat grass so grab the grass there we go now we're just gonna destroy more grass so here should be more grass and they actually destroy everything so th these are actually great flower pickers too and last thing about these guys is they drop apples upon death our next dragons are the silver gliders and holy frick that you know what that is pretty dangerous so hopefully it doesn't attack us right now but those guys that you just saw are passive and they live in beaches. And by the way, they're kind of shy, so you better be careful when around them because they'll literally just fly away the second you even try to tame them. But let's just go to that one over there. And it's basically the same way as taming a cat and it's extremely difficult and extremely annoying. But let's just go to this guy. Hopefully he does not run away because if he does... I'm gonna be so angry. I've been recording this so many times. And just come here, boy. Come here. No, frick, freaking, you can't be kidding me. So it has finally decided to accept the fish. And it takes so long to freaking do this. I've literally been, uh, my brain has been tortured because of how much I had to follow this guy. But we finally have him. And by the way, you can actually wear them on your head. Exactly like the other guys over here, the roost stalkers. And I'm going to show you what it actually does. So it, it, it it's kind of weird because it allows you to just glide wherever you want. So for example, we're going to glide over here. We're going to go over here and now we're just going to make a jump for it and hold space bar. And it should allow us to glide. Now we're just going to go a little bit higher so you guys can see how this works. So now I'm going to show you how to properly maneuver this guy while gliding. So first we're going to jump off this mountain and click space bar. So we're just going to look upwards and we should start descending a little bit slower. But if we look straight down, he should just nose dive <laughs> no matter where it is. Even if it's on land, you'll just land like that and probably break all your bones. And by the way, even if you nose dive, this guy will protect you. <laughs> even though it doesn't make sense. And now for the drops, these guys drop raw low tier meat because they're kind of puny and pathetic like this <laughs> yeah as i say pathetic he just freaking slams his head and gets stuck all right we're just gonna move on to the next dragon our next dragon is a terrifying aquatic dragon called the butterfly leviathan so these guys are hostile as you can see because they're attacking absolutely anything that gets in their way and now i'm gonna do some preparations so we have gone into survival and gotten this guy's attention so now we're just gonna bring it onto land because it's gonna be so angry that it'll just even walk onto land and by the way, you have to make sure it's raining for this because it will summon lightning when it's raining. And once it summons lightning, you can actually give it food. 
also you can also just have it in the ocean because it, it still counts as being wet but we're just gonna bring him onto land because it's way easier so the dude come on here come over here you know you want to bite me actually you know what I i'm kind of terrified of his bites but all right as long as it's to tame him so we just have to wait for a few lightning strikes which probably means like four or five lightning strikes so here we go so he has summoned lightning and now we can just feed him so he accepted one piece of meat and now we just have to back away pretty quickly and he did it twice in a row that usually doesn't happen dude no please stop so here is our, uh, I, I don't even know how many times I've done it already. And now we have tamed this dude. So that we can just right click on him and get on him. And we are going to take him to the ocean. So apparently this guy is a little bit faster once you're actually on him. And I don't know why that's the case. But all right, guess he's a little bit lazy to do it himself. And now once we get in the ocean, you can control exactly like any other dragon. So the way you make this guy swim is the exact same way how you make others fly. Except spacebar doesn't do anything. So you can only use W and S and use the mouse for steering. So you're just going to go above water. And look at that jump. That is one epic jump. And look at this angle. This just looks epic. And especially these glowing things on him. I don't know what to call them. And we're just going to surface. So now I'm going to show you its attacks. So the first attack we have is the V attack. Which is just a bite attack. And next you have the G attack. Which summons lightning. Even underwater. So there's an item I'm going to show you later on. In the mod showcase. But since this guy has something really unique using the staff, I'm just going to use it right now. So I'll just show you later what it does. But first, we're just going to go in here and put a conduit of power. So now he has been powered up and he'll just power you up. So we're just going to go into survival and we don't have an oxygen meter anymore, which is freaking awesome. And we can just see everything. So he's just our own personal conduit of power. Also, I just thought it was really interesting to show off. But here's the rare variant, which is the albino variant. So I literally spawned like 50 of them. And only one of them was albino. So they're super, super rare. But they just look freaking amazing. And here are the butterfly leviathans drops. So they drop kelp, seagrass, raw apex meat, nautilus shells. Yeah, I've never pronounced nautilus shell. Sea pickle. And it gives you a heart of the sea. Our next dragon is the royal red. So these dragons dragons are hostile towards everything and they live in mountains and by the way this is the female version so i'm just gonna call this one the queen of all dragons and if you were wondering the males are smaller and they're darker red so let's try to spawn in a male and that basically just leads to the destruction of everything so here's the male so they're a little bit darker and they're a little bit smaller and have a lot less health than holy frick what the frick have i unleashed on this land holy frick man he's already dead you know what we're just gonna restart this and kill it completely <laughs> so now let's start from square one by actually having one over here so we're just gonna spawn a royal red over here we're just gonna eat our golden apple before going into survival and now we are freaking ready to take down the queen of destruction. Um, can you just come back over here? Okay, you know what? This was a bad idea not coming in with a bow. So she's over there. And by the way, I I'm really bad at battling. So this is probably not going to end well. I'm gonna come over here. Oh, so we got a good hit off her. So this is a sharpness six sword. If just in case you were wondering. All right, so we have her on the ground. And we've almost knocked her out. So once she's knocked out, we can just feed her the beat. So just, just calm down already. Calm down. Calm down. So it's on the ground. And if you want, you can just freaking murder it while it's on the ground like this. But we're just going to try to tame it. So every once in a while, you can just feed it some meat so it can recover. So we're just going to wait until she's actually willing to accept the meat. And let's push her a little bit further back. So now she has almost been tamed. So yes, this is taming with brute force. You literally just try to murder them. Uh, accept my meat. So here we go. She has accepted the meat. And now we can tame this beast. Just look at it. And what the frick are you stomping on? Oh, okay. So she's trying to stomp on the on the zombie. So we're just gonna actually use her moves and I'll leave frick out. Uh, Alright, all right. there's nothing there. <laughs> Alright, our, our dragon is broken. So completely ignore it. Holy frick, wait, is it still attacking me? What 
okay, okay, she hasn't been tamed. Apparently she just tricked me. <laughs> oh no, I never thought. She literally just got tamed a few seconds ago. All right, so we got a new one. And this one is definitely obeying. And by the way, apparently it's just a glitch. And that's why the other one betrayed me. But I'm still keeping that in the video. Now I'm gonna show you the destructive power of this dragon. So first we're gonna use its breath. So its breath is its most powerful ability. So it can just burn absolutely anything in its path. You can burn down entire villages with this. It's definitely the top dragon in this mod. And this is definitely my favorite dragon here in this hot. Oh no, I, I can't stop burning things. Now we're just gonna go to the nearest village or whatever other place and try to use its bite move. Come over here, cows. I'm just gonna bite the heck out of you. Also, by the way, V is for biting and kicking and G is for shooting fire all over the place. Now here it's its full destructive abilities. It can burn down entire biomes at a time. So if destroying things is your thing, please get this dragon. Now here it's its rare ability, which is the strength ability because it roars so epically that apparently you just feel like the most powerful man in the world. As it definitely makes me feel like the king of the world. <laughs> And the last thing you should know about the Royal Reds is they will drop Apex Meat. Now, here we have the dark variant of the Royal Red. And look how hardcore this guy looks. He looks flipping amazing. And I think this is actually my favorite version of the Royal Red. Next, we have the Lesser Desert Worm. So these guys are passive and they live in deserts. Now, we're just going to follow this one around until he decides to bury himself. So we're just gonna give him a little bit of space and now he has buried himself so in this state he won't actually hurt you but it will kill anything related to chickens or rabbits yeah because they're kind of small apparently they're just really afraid to bite into you and probably get all their teeth shattered actually i don't think they even have teeth but that's basically all they do they don't have any abilities they're not tameable they're just tiny pathetic worm boys but you can actually unbury them and grab them for your own. So we're just gonna grab this guy and he will be wiggling in your hand. And now you can do something with this. You can literally just cook it alive. I'm not joking. You can just cook it while it's still moving. And ow, I, I, I think I kind of deserve that. Ah, oh, yes, cooked desert worm. Wait, that looked kind of burnt. I don't know if, I, if I'm safe eating that. But all right, now I'm going to show you what other things you can do when you capture them. So we're going to capture this guy. And then we could just place him back down. And he'll just get buried or just run away, depending on what it wants. Our next dragon is the coin dragon. So these adorable fellas are passive. And they only spawn in Minecraft chests. So we're just going to duplicate them just in case. And just look at how adorable they look here. But they're more adorable once you spawn them in. So let's just right click and listen to the adorable noises. Just look at how adorable he is. And spider, shut up. I'm trying to listen to this adorable fella. But there's something you can actually do with these tiny guys. And they actually spawn in different colors, by the way, which I forgot to mention. But this is the most important thing they can do. So you could just trade them for important stuff. So for example, we're just going to trade him for these apples right here. So we're just going to put him in and we have the jeweled apples. And here's something really important for later on, which are the geodes. So this is the blue geode. We're just going to give him a dragon and we're just going to buy them. So here we go. And yes, I will be showing what the geodes do later on in the video. And by the way, here are their other colors. And they just look freaking adorable. Just look at them all. And they just all look amazing. I'm not sure which is my favorite. I think it might be this one or the red ones. But just look. I think I better leave before I get stuck here from the cuteness. By the way, if you're evil enough to kill them, they will drop some golden nuggets and I feel so bad my soul has been crushed. And now before we end the dragon mob section, I'm going to show you how to actually breed these dragons. So first you need to make sure that one is a female and one is a male, obviously. And now we're just going to make them stand up. And by the way, you will be able to tell if they're female or male later on using the dragon staff. Because the dragon staff will show you every single stat. And this is possibly the only one you don't require staff for since they're obviously different. But let's just breed them so you get steak. You got steak, ma'am, and now just uh, just make an egg. So uh, just go, I'm just gonna give them a little bit of time, and they should drop an egg, which I you should pick up immediately. 
because you don't want it to get cold so here we go we have the egg and here here it is so apparently they have no care for the egg they just leave it absolutely anywhere but here we have the egg so it will take 60 minutes of it being on the ground for it to actually hatch but since we don't have that much time holy frick oh okay you know what i thought that there was three dragons but now i'm just gonna show you something so we're just gonna show the baby in advance because this is how the baby looks like just adorable pink little fellows just look at him he's so ador freaking adorable and you know the egg is actually incubating once you see all of these greenish yellowish particles around the egg now here we have the ores so the first ore we have is the blue geode ore so this will only spawn in the ore world and it will give you a blue geode and with the blue geode you can craft a blue geode block which is just crafted with nine geodes like any other block and next up we have the red geode ore which only spawns in the nether and it gives you a red geode and with the red geode you have the geode block and next up we have the purple geode ore which only spawns in the end and it gives you a purple geode and you can craft a purple geode block and next up we have another overworld ore which is the platinum ore and the platinum ore gives you platinum ingots and this cool looking platinum block but i think the other ones are a little bit more awesome next we have the dragon armors so there's different varieties of dragon armors and they're all crafted in the exact same way so for this example this is crafted with three blue geodes and two blocks of blue geode and same applies for the diamond one which gets pretty expensive because it requires three diamonds and two diamond blocks that is the most expensive thing i've ever seen but anyway here are each individual one so we have the blue geode dragon armor we have the red geode dragon armor we have the purple geode dragon armor which looks epic i really love this color next we have the platinum dragon armor next we have the iron dragon armor we have the gold dragon armor and we have the diamond dragon armor so i think these three are actually my favorite and the rest are just meh why did i say meh that is a disgrace all of these are awesome depending on what dragon you place it on and if you were wondering how you put this on a dragon i'm gonna show you with the dragon staff so now we have the dragon staff so this will turn you into a dragon master and the way you craft it is with one red geode and one blaze rod so here we have the overworld drake that we tamed earlier so the first thing you want to do is right click with your dragon staff so the first thing you'll see is these stats right here so it tells you how much health your dragon has and if it's male or female and now here's a few other options but first we're gonna go over the name so you can just go over here and change the name so yeah, i just left clicked on here and now you can just delete everything that is on here or just do whatever you want so for example we're just gonna name this guy drakey for some reason yeah that's the best name i could come up with and now you just want to click escape and he should just be named so we're just gonna go over a few other basic things this can do so first we're just gonna go back inside this menu by right clicking and we're just gonna press the follow command and he should start following and by the way will glow once you're actually pointing it at the dragon or using it on the dragon so now we're just gonna make him stay and he should just stay there like a really good boy but that was just something that you could do by default so i'm gonna show you something else you can do so you can access its inventory and by the way the overworld drakes have a lot more slots than any other dragon so we're just gonna put on this purple geode armor which should just make him look so epic just just look at this guy it looks so fabulous and now we're just gonna go to access inventory again and give him an inventory so yes you can now carry chests around although i think donkeys or mules can do that already but it's just awesome to have this freaking armored tank to take your stuff so now let's move on to the next thing this wand can do and that is set a home position so we're just gonna left click right here and that should make our wands glow now we're just gonna right click on the ground anywhere we want so for example we're just gonna set its home right here and you should get a confirmation noise now if we go a little bit further away our dragon shouldn't follow us at all so we're just over here and it's just gonna walk around its home so yes it's never gonna leave and it can freely roam around 
And by the way, even though it says bound to Drakey, you can actually bound it to even more dragons. So for example, we're just gonna click on our royal red queen right here, and it should be set to her. So for example, here we have royal red, and we can just switch it back to our overworld Drake right here. So let's just right click, and it should be back on him. So now we have our last command, which is the target commanding. So we're just gonna set a target for destruction. So basically it's just uh, hiring it for assassination. So we're just gonna right click from afar on this villager and it should make a confirmation noise. So it has made a fiery noise and it should summon the Drake to kill the villager. And oh, uh, I, I think concerning could hide and Holy frickin'! Oh, wow. Uh, I did not know we had that much range. So you better be careful if they're not actually tamed. The next item we have is a really cool item called the Dragon Soul Crystal. So this is basically just a discount Pokeball. But it is still epic and I really love this item. And the way you craft it is with one eye of vendor and four blue geodes. So this is just really simple. You just right click on your team dragon and boom, they're inside the soul crystal. And in the soul crystal, it tells you information about the dragon, like their name and who tamed them. Now you just want to right click and boom, like magic, it's back in existence. And here's what happens if you do it on a non team dragon. I'll just say you're not entrusted with the dragon. So yeah, but it's basically saying, please don't take away my soul. I don't know you stranger. So moving on to the player based items, we have the jewel apple so this is like a golden apple except it's made of geode so you just want one apple surrounded by any type of geode now we're just gonna eat it and show all the effects so here are all the effects so we have regeneration three night vision glowing resistance and absorption three so here we have the blue geode gear so this gear falls somewhere between iron level and diamond level and all of these are crafted in the exact same way as any vanilla tool or weapon now i'm not going to show absolutely every single tool but i will be showing Going to swords and armor still so just look at this just look how epic the armor looks and this mod also adds something new which is tipped arrows so the tipped arrows have geodes and some of these geodes can make them go insane so this is just like a little bit stronger than normal arrows which i'm just gonna show right now so we're just gonna grab our creeper and we're just gonna torture creepers right now so i'm just gonna shoot him and that should do like a yeah it, it, it got him to 13 health and now we're just gonna try with the tip arrow so let's spawn another creeper and let's shoot him with this arrow so it should usually leave them at around nine health so here we go nine health Next we have the red geode gear, so this is slightly stronger than diamond by 0.5. So for example, in the diamond sword, it's 0.5 stronger, and for the armor, it's a little bit tougher by 0.5. Next we have the red geode gear, so this is a tiny bit stronger than diamond, and this is how we look with this gear, it looks so epic, this is my favorite one since it, it's red, like you can tell uh, everything that I like is red, holy frick, <laughs> that sounded a little bit darker than I wanted, but now we're just gonna shoot the creeper, so come here creeper, you're almost gonna die, so <laughs> at 6 health, just imagine how powerful this next one is. Our next gear is the purple geode gear, and it is stronger than netherite. So for example, we have our purple geode sword, which does 9 attack damage, compared to a netherite sword, which does 8 attack damage. And for example, the purple geode chestplate has 10 armor and 4 armor toughness, while netherite has 8 armor and 3 armor toughness, except the netherite does have its knockback resistance, well, this gear doesn't. And now here is how you look. Anyway, so let's yes, just it get makes you look to this video. like a powerful armored wizard. And now let's do the creeper test with the arrow. So I'm gonna shoot this creeper and it probably should insta-kill it. So we're just gonna hit it and it left it at 4 health. This is insane. Let's try to headshot the creeper this time and almost insta-death. Yeah, it kind of varies, I know. Now here we have the Drake set. So this doesn't actually come with the weapons and it's armor only, but it's some really cool armor. And just look at it before I actually show the crafting recipes. It, it just looks freaking epic. It looks like you're a freaking dragon yourself. But anyway, we're just going to show a recipe because each one of these is actually different. So for the Drake helmet, you need three Drake pack plates and one platinum helmet. For the chest plate, you need six Drake back plates and a platinum chest plate. 
For the leggings you need 5 drake back plates and 1 platinum leggings. And for the boots you need 2 drake back plates along with a pair of platinum boots. And this is near netherite level except it has a little bit less armor toughness. And by the way once you're wearing this as a set it gives you knockback resistance. Next we have an item that can't actually be traded and that is the trumpet. So the trumpet just allows you to replicate the noise of the butterfly leviathan and I really love the description of this. The blissful sounds of the butterfly leviathan can be replicated with such a divine device. So yeah, I, I just really like that. And the only way to obtain it is by trading with a wandering trader. And you just need to give them a coin dragon so he can give you the trumpet. And now this is how it sounds. I'm just gonna shut up for a second. Ah, that's music to my ears. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Why is that music? But it, it sounds so majestic. Anyway, here we just have the cooked versions of all these meats. So we have the cooked low tier meat. We have the cooked common meat, cooked apex meat, and we have the cooked behemoth meat. And this will be for the behemoth dragon, which will be added in the future of this mod. You probably thought this was over already, but I'm just gonna try every single meat just so you guys can see how much each one can fill you up. So first we have the cooked low tier meat. So it fills you up like one and a half bars of hunger. Next we have the cooked common meat. So this should fill up four bars of hunger. Next we have the cooked apex meat. And this should fill up to eight bars of hunger. Next we have the cooked behemoth meat. And this fills up your entire hunger bar. Which is the most powerful meat they've ever seen. Now here's some of the future content that will be added to this mod. And by the way don't be an entire freaking dimension dedicated to dragons. Anyway let's start off with some of the first dragons. So here we have the Argyl, which looks flipping terrifying. Then we have these cute boys, which are the Bamfies. Next we have the redesigned Canary Wyverns. I just really love this color. <laughs> I think this one is actually my favorite. And next up, we have the Celestial Sky Serpents. They just look so freaking awesome. And there's also some other variants. So this is the Summer variant. This is the Winter variant. And we also have its charged up Angry version. And yes, I think I would destroy my pants if I saw this thing. Next we have the Crowned Drake. And this guy has such hardcore armor. That's the most impressive thing about it. And it has different versions of armor. So here's the diamond one. There's the gold edition. There's also netherite. So yes, there's going to be netherite dragon armor eventually. Next, we have one of my favorite and most terrifying dragon, which is the demonic wing walker. Just look at this. Dude, uh, uh, and it actually sounds really terrifying. Here's how terrifying it sounds like. Okay, yeah, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever heard. Next, we have the Greater Desert Worm. So, yes, the other ones are actually the baby versions. These dudes are terrifying, and this is how it would look like underground. So, they look exactly like the baby, but it's actually its tongue, and it can just freaking swallow you. Just This would be so terrifying to imagine. You would probably never even get near one of the lesser desert worms. Also, I think I chose too many favorites, but here we have the scythe of Ray. And just look at that terrifying mouth. But it looks cute at the same time. It, it's the most terrifying and cute thing I've ever seen. Next, we have the shiny dragonlets. And just look at how adorable they look. And yes, this tree is also being added to the dimension. We also have the water basilisk. And we also have the stingy and abbreviation. You know what? I don't know how to spell this. But it looks freaking terrifying. And yes, it's gonna be bigger than the butterfly leviathan. And just look at this chart. Some of these are gonna be flipping massive. And we also have some previews of the Stingy and Sea. And we also have the new trees and woods that are being added. This, this is actually pretty exciting. And that is it because I don't want to bore you guys too much. Wait, why is their wing flapping? Holy frick! What the frick is going on in here? Why is there so... Why is there so many of them? Holy frick, okay, they've destroyed the entire village. I don't know what the frick... 
What has happened here? Oh, the, 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 this is a lot of destruction. See, that's why I've called them the kings and queens of destruction. <laughs> just look at this entire village burning down. You know what? I'm just gonna ask Corsica because this is gonna probably get out of control. And the, holy frick, I just noticed the flames are actually getting through the glass. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're actually getting out here. You know what? I'm just gonna talk to Horace again. What the frick has he done this time? Arzakan, what the frick is... What the frick did he just do inside the dome? Oh, I just unleashed a bunch of invincible dragons. Arzakan, why would... Why the frick would you do that? Oh, weren't you gonna destroy it anyway? No, I, I was, wasn't actually gonna destroy it. Oh, oh, you actually meant that you were making a new place. Um, yeah, Horsican, that's what I meant. And yeah, um, I, I kind of forgot about that. You, I'm actually going to show off a new Phoenix base. Yes, we finally reached 2,000 subscribers. And that means finally have a, a, a new base. And Horsican, please don't burn down, burn down the next base. Oh, oh, Troy. Yeah, uh, I know you will. At least I have some backups, but he probably doesn't know that. Anyway, we're just gonna probably end the video here. Anyway, that was it for today's mod showcase. And I still can't get over what Orsican has done. The entire village is slowly burning to death. I, I kind of feel bad for villagers. At least some of them are evacuating. But anyway, I'm just gonna stop talking. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this showcase. It was a lot of fun doing this. And I tried a different style of recording. So it's probably not gonna be any different for you guys. But it's gonna be different on my side. And yeah, you probably might see a difference. Because I'm actually taking my time now to make these videos. Because yeah, I wasn't really taking my time before. And anyway, don't forget to burn that subscribe button. Because these dragons will probably go after you. If you don't, I I'm just kidding. I I'm not that mean and also let's try to get to 20 likes on this video yes i'm finally gonna increase the threshold uh, uh, okay you know what i don't know what's wrong with me but anyway don't forget to have an awesome day or night and see you all later bye